I want to thank everyone for joining me. In this video, I want to talk about buck stitching, specifically how I figure out how much lace is needed for a buck stitching project. For this project, I have two pieces of 5-6 ounce shap leather glued together like they would be on a pair of shafts. I also have a roll of quarter inch calf skin lace and a buck stitch chisel. The first thing I'm going to do is take a pair of wing dividers that are set a quarter of an inch apart and mark down on the top piece of the leather. For this video I'm going to go over the line with an ink pen so you can see it better in the video. I want to point out you should never mark on leather with an ink pen on any project that you intend to sell to the public. Now that I have the line, I'm going to measure out 6 inches. This is where I'm going to buck stitch. In the next step, using my buck stitch chisel, I'm going to punch my holes. I have a 1 foot by 1 foot piece of granite for a solid base. Then on top of that, I will put a piece of rubber to protect my chisel from hitting the granite. I'm going to lay my piece of leather down and take my buck stitch chisel and start at the first mark of the 6 inches and punch down the line. Along the way, checking to ensure the chisel goes through the leather, you only need to punch holes along the line between the two marks that you made 6 inches apart. To prepare my lace for buck stitching, I have a piece of scrap quarter inch lace. I'm going to measure out 16 inches and cut off the end. If you've never buck stitched before, you can follow along of what I do. There are many ways to buck stitch. This is just the easiest for me with the tools I have. On one end of the lace, I'm going to cut an angle to create a point at one end. As you can see, I'm going to take a scratch awl and from the bottom side of the two pieces of leather, I'm going to open up the first hole. Then I'm going to take the pointed end of my lace and thread it through the hole. I'm going to leave about two inches of lace on the back side just to the edge of the leather. Now from the top side, take your scratch awl and open up the next hole, then loop your lace and run it back down through the hole. When editing this video, I noticed I should have brought in a close-up shot of how to lace. Here you will see that I brought the lace up from the back side. I go ahead and open up the next hole with the scratch all and loop the lace and go back down through the hole. Now you just need to repeat this process to the end of the holes you have punched.
once you've finished lacing through all the holes, you'll see that I have lace starting at one end of the leather and I'm going to cut the other end of the lace at the other edge of the two leather pieces. If this was a real project and you have finished all your lacing, you should lay your leather on your stone and take a hammer and hammer down the lace on the top side and the back. What I have now is my two pieces of leather laced together and trimmed. Now take the piece of lace you trimmed off and measure it. I ended up with 3.5 inches of excess. So to summarize, I started off with 16 inches of lace, I laced 6 inches of holes, there was 3.5 inches of lace that I trimmed off and 2 inches left on each side of the lacing section. So for future projects, I know for every 6 inches that is going to be laced, I'm going to need 8.5 inches of quarter inch lace. For my records, I'm going to write this information on this sample piece of leather and store it away. Thank you for watching this video. If this was helpful and you would like to see more videos like this, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to this channel.